how's everybody doing? It's going to be a quick DVD update, just some stuff I got in the last week or two, you know. Um, first one is Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning, unrated version. Um, you know, I saw this in a the theater. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I know it's Michael Bay and all that junk, but whatever. It's not that bad of a movie. You can just get past the fact that it's not really it's not really a remake but just get past you know all the Michael Bay crap <laughs> uh, the next one it's kinda like an impulse buy I never really I mean I've seen previews for it but I never knew I didn't know anybody that had this movie or anything I never even saw it in the store before so I found this and I just decided to pick it up and that's Fido and you know I ended up watching it and it's awesome I really enjoyed it it's, you know, just the idea of, like, domesticated zombies. I know, like, Day of the Dead, you know, Bob was all domesticated to an extent and all, but just, you know, the idea that, like, a caller can just make the zombie, you know, they can basically be your servant and do whatever. And it's a pretty funny movie. It's, I picked it up pretty cheap. It's not much to that. But, uh, yeah, any fan of zombies or... You know, like Shaun of the Dead or whatever, you know, just check it out. If I do. This is the next one I swear I put it on my last DVD update because I had it before, but I guess I missed it. And that's, I got, I found this at a CD warehouse and I never saw this edition in my life. And I guess it's out of print, you know, I get it for a decent deal, but it's, uh, it's Children of the Corn and Creep Show 2. I know it's an Anchor Bay release, I think it's out of print. It's got two discs, one's Children of the Corner, one's Creep Show 2. I know it's kind of a weird release, I, that's why I snagged it when I saw it. So one side's got that, and one side ends up with the scene selections. But, you know, I've seen these movies a lot before, and, you know, I just didn't own either of them, so why not get them both together? You know, Children of the Corn's a classic, and Creep Show 2. I kind of, yeah, whatever. Here comes the hate mail and all, but I kind of like it better than Creep Show One. Okay, whatever. You know, just uh, the Hitchhiker story was like, "Thanks for the ride, lady." Yeah, I just really like. <laughs> I don't know. It just cracks me up every time. This so next one, I've been wanting to pick up for a while. I seen it and I just, you know, didn't pick it up, and then I didn't have it when I went to get it, and then I found it again. So and that's. The Hitcher, the original, C. Thomas Howe from the 80s. It's a great movie. It's way better than that remake that came out. It's the cardboard case. Um, yeah, I'm sure most people have seen this one. You know, just It's kind of a classic in a way, in its own right. It's a classic, but definitely check that one out. And this next one I got on Amazon pretty cheap, and I've been wanting to see it forever, and I finally get to see it, and blew me away. That's uh, John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness. Also, the cardboard case. I've heard people that love this movie to death. You know, they say it's Carpenter's best movie, and you know, it's. I don't, I'm not going to say it's his best movie, but it's definitely up there. It's awesome. I really enjoy this. this uh, these next three movies aren't really horror. But this one I found cheap and I've been wanting to check out for a while. It's Legend. It's Ridley Scott. It's, uh, it's Tom Cruise in it. Uh, Tim Curry's in it. And yeah, I just really wanted to check it out. I didn't get to watch it yet, but definitely going to watch that soon. This next one I got real cheap. Really, really cheap. I've seen the movie before, but I just I didn't own it, so I decided to pick it up because it was. You know, that's Total Recall. Just your basic. I'm sure, everybody and their brother's seen this movie at least once, like on TV or something. But yeah, this last one I found at Big Lots, and it shocked me. I never expected to find this at all. That's a uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's like the collector's edition. It's kind of like a like a hardback book. It looks like you know. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. It's got two discs. It comes with like a film cell, which is numbered. 
I know the number's really high, you can see that, like 212,887, but still it's got like a little film reel with it, it's cool. It comes with like the entire screenplay, yeah, it's like in everything, didn't expect that at all, except the uh, booklet with it, and it's a two disker, so definitely shocked to find that, I've I know, whenever, I never saw the movie, okay, again, more hate mail down there, well, I plan to see it, and I heard a lot of good things about it, it's like a big cult following, Monty Python or whatever, but definitely I bought it, because I wanted to check it out, so, got a really good deal on it at Big Lots, so if you're at Big Lots, check out for that one, you know, it's a really good deal, um, yeah, just, Keep up, man. There's more videos to come soon, so...